Hello everybody and welcome to Imperator Rome! We're starting a new multiplayer series today featuring me, Benjamin Magnus, as Rome. And everybody else want to introduce yourself? Zate, who are you? Well, I'm playing as a gold nation here on the coast of Mediterranean. And we have Midge Man. I am playing Macedon, the heirs, the true heirs of Alexander the Great. And we have Commissioner Roach. <sighs> Commissar Roach, and I'm playing as Carthage, and I will remember that. I will <laughs> remember that Carthage Rome. will remember this. <laughs> Carthage will remember this. The true superpower in the Mediterranean. Well, I mean, you start wow. off more powerful than, I, uh, than Rome. That's what I'm saying. I am the true superpower in the Mediterranean. <laughs> Whether or not you just it wait. will continue. Is, well, bef before question. we start here, I'd just like to preface this by saying um, this is literally less than one day after we got the I have five hours of game time. <laughs> the code for this game, so I we have all, two. We all <laughs> have just a small smattering of experience with the game, so this is going to be very much a bit of a learning experience. Yeah, it's um, and it, it's it's weird. It's weird. I'm 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 just scrolling through this text so people can read it because I'm not going to read it aloud because that'd be annoying. Uh, it's it's weird. I this has this has been the first brand new IP <laughs> Paradox game I've I've played that's in their main like grand strategy series since Victoria Two. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> like, um, so yeah, I have no idea where anything is, and it's weird. And <laughs> well, I, I think is what you should do is go watch any single player series that we've released because we will have had a lot more time of playing mm. in the time. Uh -huh. In the time, mm -hmm. we just re realized we had a free day. And uh, we wanted to play some, so we, we were thought, gonna do spin tires. Yeah, I thought you know, we were gonna have like done. a solid uh, extra week of getting to figure out how to play the game before doing this. But nope, we're just going in. We're just doing it because oh. we realized we'll have two weeks worth of content recorded before we even upload. I so, am not gonna get a lot of uh, inventions. We never do that. I have so much research points. Okay, national tax. I'm gonna that. have to pick and choose. We need to do some trading. Okay, my Basilius. Oh, Basilius of Macedon just sounds so cool. Oh. <laughs> all right, so the, see, all mine are like North African names, so I can't. I and I'm not not knocking North African names. I'm just saying I can't pronounce them. I don't know how they're <laughs> supposed to be pronounced. Oh, there's gonna be a whole lot of I don't know how to pronounce this shit in this game. Oh yeah. Yep. Most of most of my provinces, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, provinces, trade, position of wealth, acquire all of the wealth. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Oh, a little bit not much. Eight percent Latin. I like that. We're homogenous. Although I could use more slaves. Oh, I've got some people in my country that aren't Hellenic. Uh, oh. you know, you know what to do, Mitch. Oh, the the Jewish. Okay. Oh, right. oh, oh no, then, then, then don't. That's, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. <laughs> Let's not go there right off the bat. <laughs> oh, oh God. Yeah, I know. Sorry. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's this series demonetized. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> womp womp. Oh, okay. Economy bad. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Economy bad. Ooh, <laughs> I I, I kind of like the harsh taxation because that means more money and less research points, which might let me get another uh, invention out before I tech up. Yes, tax everybody. Also, commerce the hell out of people. <laughs> commerce them. Commerce them all. <laughs> yes. Commerce them all. all right. <laughs> Fine. Oh, wait, never mind. Ooh. Does anybody else think it's funny that the shock action for uh, as a the standing for your army is a moose? Yes. Oh, is that what that is? is it's that a moose. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't, there's a, there's I, a moose in I was like, is why is there a moose button? And I never looked over to it. So See, that, like, that, like that, why is yeah, there a moose? Yeah, that's the combat tactics. I, uh, I thought it was more of like a, I thought it was like a religious thing. I don't know why, but I thought like moose, like, kind of like moose, god. Moose. Like, the moose god! Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it, the Carthaginian moose god. Uh, I mean, Romans, Romans had bulls, so, you know, why couldn't Carthage They, they weren't gods, though. Well, not gods, but you know what I mean, like a very, um, 
So Water some of them, work. some of them, I think, make sense. Like envelop, the envelopment is wolf. wolf. Wolves work in packs together to surround an enemy. But deception, yeah. rabbit, like, do, are rabbits particularly deceiving? Have you ever tried hunting a rabbit? I, I don't hunt. I live in Florida. Okay. Well, you used to live in. You you keep telling me you lived in country in the countryside in New York. Is is so bottleneck a tortoise? Yep. Yeah. Is it because? It's got a thin neck. <laughs> no, I think it has to do with like testudos and stuff. I, I did, yeah. Here's what I'm. Here's what I'm wondering though. Why is the uh, why is it the moose shock? Whereas why, why couldn't why couldn't they just do like a bull? Because that makes just as much sense. The exact thing they're trying to go with. I don't know what I see, what I'm usually shocked when I see a moose in Florida. A uh, bull is cavalry skirmish. That makes what. Why? Why? <laughs> why? Why couldn't that have been a horse? Why couldn't it have been a horse? <laughs> Let's unpause the game. But why, though? <laughs> well, I don't know that. Let's unpause the game. Get some pop lights up in here. All right, yeah. Um, oh, fucking pirates I'll immediately. <laughs> Let's double check if there's any better people to put in government. Just for uh, reference wise, because I, I have no basis to compare. How many, like, what's your navy, Ben? Four. Four. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. I have, I have 12 I have, triremes. I have a very skewed Zero. idea of naval yeah, size. Yeah, you, you have 62 ships. You can yeah. find this out on without even asking us, though, by going onto the diplomacy screen. You can see everyone's cohorts and ships on that screen. So if oh. you right-click a nation, it's there underneath there, next to their treasury, their manpower. It's all free for view. I think I'm going to go Oh, ahead. you're correct. Yo, you're right. Yep. Oh, so they just integrated the thing we all did. Yeah. yeah but, ledger. So the ledger is on the diplomacy screen, basically. Oh, okay. So, so they, they acknowledge that, that we just usually cheat. Yeah, I'll oh, import no. some I'm not gonna grain do that. from Egypt. <laughs> For a second, I was like, "Hey, I could import elephants and get some sweet, sweet elephant soldiers." Is Rome like right off the bat? And then I noticed who I could uh, um, r import them from was Roach. <laughs> yeah, you want to yeah. sell me elephants? Okay, Massilia has only three cohorts, but I don't have a claim on them. I don't particularly want to lose two stability declaring war. How do you get stability? That's a question. Uh, yeah. uh, okay. On your religion screen, the top left, there's a thing where you can sacrifice to the gods. That gives you stability. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That needs to be more prominent. Uh, it's the <laughs> first thing that's mentioned in the tutorial. I did, didn't play the tutorial. <laughs> there you go, then. Well, here's your problem. It's a paradox problem. game. It's a paradox game. You to never be fair, played it's the, the only thing they tell you in the tutorial. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so... Well, it's the only thing probably, I read, It's anyway. probably because during testing, they were going like, oh, nobody knows how to get stability. <laughs> it's just like, I'll put it in a tutorial. <laughs> That'll help. Well, no, it's, uh, it's the same thing as in the EU Rome, the original one. Did so anybody play that? I don't think anybody played that. I did. I they didn't did. you, Ben? Because <laughs> you're you, and you were stupid into Rome. Yeah. All right, let's see. I got to get a couple inventions out. Because for those of you uh, are watching, um, any inventions you don't get before you tech up, go away forever. Forever. Nothing? Yep. Yeah, they do. Are so you if sure? you, yeah, they are yeah. replaced by new ones. They're replaced by new ones when you tack up. Yep. At least uh, something we should all preference is as well that there, this is all pre-release. Things may change. Mm. Uh, yeah. We do. We do have to say that with this content that we are putting out, that everything's pre-release, and they've already. Um, they've already told us there's going to be a patch for things. That's yeah. Coming out. Yeah, the, the so, email with the codes also came with, like, an addendum going, this is what we're changing in the near future. Okay, okay. I want someone that can help me beat up on three. Commerce income. We're, we're just going straight up cash ducats. Yeah, I think I'm going to recruit one more cohort here. All right. And you. then I'm probably going to have to get some more 
oratory points to get a claim. Oratory. All right. Do I want to? Do I want to omen yeah, early? I accidentally took an unbalanced like. Oh, government. I I also need to uh, grab my ideas. I always forget about that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I accidentally I accidentally took unbalanced as well. So um. Is that corruption? Lo Ooh, loyalty. Yeah, we're going to loyalty. Yep, that's yep. <laughs> definitely something I've uh, I've learned the hallway, uh, hard hallway, H hard way, is that you want your generals to be loyal. That could cause uh, problems later. It sure can. I've noticed that myself. All right, I've got some money. Let's. Um, Do I want to be a some marketplaces in the capital and in Thessalonica? So actually, the bottleneck tactic would be pretty effective for me right now. Well, yeah, that's t t Testudo. It's like I need to be a rhino because that's Phalanx. Yeah, I usually go when I'm playing... Well, I'm mostly playing Drive so far. So I usually go for the Skirmishing, which is uh, very good for light infantry and archers. Yeah, the mm. Hyena tactic, right? Uh -huh. Yep. Now, is there anything that works good with elephants? Yep. Yep, what I am I, now. You should, you should, yeah, you should get also, I think, uh, a couple of techs down the road. Carthage will get their own thingy, won't it? We'll get elephant techs, you know, whatever. Yeah, well, yeah, you'll get like an elephant tactic, so to speak. Ah, you're already a feudatory of Rome. I like that. Can I do anything with that? Is there any way to influence? Cancel. Yeah, Start you... integration. There we go. Yeah, you, you gotta, you they gotta like you enough, but then you can integrate. Same as E4, but it's much harder to get to. The way I see the best thing to do oh, is send them a gift and then improve relations. That seems to keep them higher. Call to arms. They're at war with Tarentum. Hmm. I don't know who any of you are. Apulia, you're over here. Where are okay, who Tarentum? are these fighting then? I'm gonna go ahead and yeah. accept oh. that. Okay. And I hope it doesn't come up after maybe the butt. By the way, is there an easier way to get people on boats, like from the province, instead of just having them to walk onto a boat that's in the in the no. sea tile? No. Uh, uh, you can. L no. The only way to do it is through the, you know that clicking. Okay. That I was just wondering. Let's see. Commerce income, manpower, discipline. I think I will go with just a. Uh, a simple blessing of series. Get some growth going in the capital here. Yeah, tribesmen. Oh, they didn't need to be done away with. <laughs> I mean, they're they're not that bad. I mean, you know. Well, yeah, it says a freaking heathen Carthaginian. Well, they give you tax and manpower, which is pretty good. Less manpower than than freemen, but they give you a base tax. Yeah, but slaves give way more tax. Yeah, but they have a higher chance of... If you have a large amount of slaves, they give you a higher chance of... Uh, uh, so maybe maybe your know. slaves rebel, but I know how to keep mine in line. <laughs> Four episodes from now, I got a slave rebel. <laughs> I'm Spartacus! No, I'm Spartacus! <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of trade requests. Uh, so yeah, I just got a couple uh, pop olives, out myself. Base... No, oh. So, how do I work out, um, you know there's bad, uh, research ratio. Has anyone worked out how I correct that? No. Uh, more citizens? Uh, yeah, more citizens. Uh, you can make Bro. the citizens a little bit more efficient. If you have, if you don't have enough citizens, that's, that's why you'll get that little pop-up saying you're right. being inefficient. Yep. So I need more citizens, and I just got uh -huh. a gift from someone. Very nice. Um, so for that, I don't assimilate. I promote, promote pops. Promote some freemen. There are a lot of mercenaries. <laughs> there's there's about a few in the world. Yep. There's a lot of them in my country. Like, well, yeah, you, you, you're Carthage. You literally I know. run on mercenaries. <laughs> Funny enough, I haven't had to in the single player game. You wait till you fight Rome. Uh... 
Alright, so. Are you still allied with Seleucids in Egypt? You are. Right, has Egypt done this? Yeah, Egypt's still not building boats. Okay, I might be able to go for an early war against Thrace. The trade route has disappeared, oh my. Alrighty. Let's get some cattle up in here then. Okay, I can buy more political favors. Rome wants to buy. Oh, sorry. Requesting to import livestock from the province of Macedonia Secunda. I, I need meat. Yeah, yeah, buy my livestock. Why not? I need some allies. That sweet, sweet population growth. Oh, I can't ally local powers because I'm a regional power. Ah, so all these Greek nations that are like, yeah, we'd be your friend. Too small. Well, so I've got to wait for you, the... Then you yeah, subjugate like... them and force them to be your friends. Exactly. Force <laughs> them to be your friends. Everything is That's fine. Right. Edge but of the gladius. As, then... as, I, as I found... Well, it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a gladius for Greeks. Um, well, it'd, it'd be, it'd be of tip of the spear. Sword. So there's oh. an amazing thing called the, the, the like Hellenic League, um, which means if I was to attack any of these... Uh, Greek states, all of them would come in. Sounds about oh right. My, oh my god, I would not like that. Um. Oh, I just tried the rotating the map thing with the right click, and oh, that is disorientating. Yeah, well. uh, yeah. Let's, let's, oh, yeah. Let's just turn Italy <laughs> upside down. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to go after Thrace, because I worked that war out really well last I time. I do like the new map. It's, oh, it's, it's nice. Really it's yeah. really great. It's really, and by the way, what we're talking about, everybody, is if you, if you look as I as I go over to the edge of the map, you can see that it's curved. It's, it curves. It's curved like the world. Yeah. It's... You hear that, flat earthers? <laughs> <laughs> Even the Romans knew it. Well, I mean, it was independently it was discovered. It was independently <laughs> discovered by the Romans, the Greeks, the Egyptians, and a number of other societies. Yeah. There were people in Alexandria. That, there were, actually, that was, I think that was the first major one that we know of. Was that in Alexandria yeah. was the, the, the oh, what was the two? What was the other city? It was they, they measured the, they measured the shadows from uh, from two obelisks. Yep. At, uh, mm -hmm. at a uh, they were the same latitude. Is it latitude? I forget which one's latitude and longitude off the top of my head. Uh, but uh, and they just measured the difference in the uh, the shadow angle and they were able to calculate it fairly fairly close like it's mm -hmm. pretty amazing all right thrace i want to take rhodopia from you i think oh. maybe Achuria needs to be Ooh. my first kill i just first expanded kill. in a war back to Parthia. i mean it wasn't even my war oh, they got way more troops than me oh Parthia yeah i see I, I see where you're at now because i just saw a big red piece like rising <laughs> yeah. from from the south of, of what's going to be france What's it, what is it? What was it called in this era? Is it just goal? Like this? Goal. Like we're. That's what. Okay. Transalpine Gaul. <clears throat> Between the Alps and the Po River was Cisalpine Gaul, and then on the other side was Transalpine Gaul. Learning with Magnus. Uh, the, the Romans were re <laughs> they were really creative. It was Gaul on this side of the Alps and Gaul on that side of the Alps. Yep. So what did Gaul mean? It must have meant something then. Well, it's probably just—it was probably an insult. Because I mean, barbarian was just a person that's not a Roman, the, and that's that's kind of become an insult. So it's probably—I don't know—it's probably like somebody who does not wash or something, but, or a land of the unwashed. Who knows? Or or um, it could be. Well, they used it could to be uh, like a lot of people where it's just like where Gaul is just like land of the Gauls or something. Yeah. Well, and yeah. um. Uh, uh, past the the the, the area, I can't remember what it was in Latin, but there was an area ba basically north of Gaul was called Land of the Long-haired Gauls. Yeah, that's, yeah, no, that tracks. Yeah, Land <laughs> of the Long-haired. There's one thing we know about humanity throughout time is we're horrible at naming things. I don't know. I like the descriptory names perfectly fine. I mean, let's be honest. Earth is just the name for dirt. It's just, it's yep. just we're just calling oh, it okay, dirt. Yeah. I got my first yeah, funny-looking children. That's not the. That's not what nor, what people Ooh. call it though. The the, the oh. recognized name that's that's used by everybody everywhere. Yeah, well, yeah, but Earth. that's because most Earth people. It just means dirt. 
Why is most of the Senate in, in, in favor of me imprisoning my newborn daughter? <laughs> I don't know. I don't How know why. How many detained families do you have, Ben? Uh, <laughs> one, two, Currently three, four, like five, six, seven, oh, eight no. scornful families. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. Uh, I've got no pop-ups. This, this is good. I'm running like a like a well-oiled. Oh, uh, I don't know chariot. what would be the equivalent of a machine now. Uh, I, I, the well-oiled chariot. There we go. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there was some sort of like animal grease on the moving parts. Oh well, I'm probably no, there had to have been. You can't. Things running. The, the Olympic mean, Games. It, uh... you, ever, you ever seen like a chariot going full full speed? Those things like the I, I, that I, axles moving. I forward. don't. We don't all live in the past like you do, Roach. I, I don't know, you know, the... the oh, the, I don't the know Johnsons about just that. Got their new, they, I don't know, the Johnsons just got their chariot last week, and it's it's a really <laughs> nice one. <laughs> <laughs> They're moving on up in the world. Yeah. I like that all of my feudatories have to join in. Yep. All right. I actually... Simulate some people. Give me thrice. All right, how do I... Okay, so what... I need more light cavalry effect. So I need more... Okay, I'd use light cavalry for my bottleneck. And archers. I have... Oh, I have light cavalry. No, light cavalry, I have no bonus. Give me that's okay. job. So we're going to increase the size of this army. Recruit to army. Are Equites heavy cavalry? They gotta be. Equitase a light have uh, If it's the helmet cavalry icon, it's heavy cavalry. If it's the spear cavalry icon, it's light yeah, cavalry. So Equitase is uh, is heavy. Auxiliary is light. Yes, yes. Auxiliary is for you, isn't it? Gotta go ahead and go. I haven't seen Thrace's armies yet. Where are they? Probably up in the. Ah, oh, they're up in the north fighting Ystros. Okay. Fine. Oh, invention time! Huzzah! Invention time. <laughs> it's I keep time. wanting to build more naval stuff, but I realize it's, it's, it's just I'm basically like the the United States just piling onto an already huge pile. Just, mm -hmm. Like it's, it's, it's like let's make another fucking carrier. Let's do it. <laughs> we have we ten super carriers, but we should replace them with ten ultra super carriers. Exactly. It was actually, I don't know why, but you never do that thing like at night or, or like during the day where you just kind of go down a rabbit hole of wiki articles and you just... You're yeah, I know, I've done that. Or, yeah, I was I, reading it, up on the new carriers that everybody, uh, non-US carriers, because apparently there's a wiki page for, for specifically that. Because uh, of course there is. Yeah, of course Ooh. there is. Um, and apparently like the Indians are making a new carrier that's almost the size of one of our helicopter assault like a helicopter carriers that we use so so barely even half the size of our super carriers and the uk is making uh, they, they they're making another yeah i've seen the new uk another one. isn't uh, it isn't uh, isn't that a boondoggle though no it just it, it looks weird because we're used to catapult launch carriers they're using their carriers are built around planes that can do vtol Oh so no no no! That's not that's not what I'm talking about. Hasn't it have been a a, a cluster in terms of budget? Hasn't it gone like colossally over budget and nothing's working? I'm not sure. What well, the British character? Yeah. Carrier. Uh, I think it's a year past its original production target. But then again, Brexit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the government has your bigger things. Your country's to worry been about strangling right itself for the last year. <laughs> it's oh, got I a wonder. choking fetish. Oh, it's not my quite God. over yet. I just realized, can we make it, can we try and make it a thing during our next, like, if we do a community multiplayer of this to make sure that any power that grows inside of, uh, in, inside of, uh, Britain in this game also implodes? <laughs> we, we, we keep it going as a tradition that as a, nobody yeah. can play as the U.S. Well, as, I think Sergei did British break power. that tradition. Unfortunately, he, he Sergei did break it, but, I mean, there is one more session of EU4 to play. See, he, for, there's you still time to, to fuck it up. It's up to you. It's up, it's up to all of you. You need to make it happen. I actually hmm. couldn't get my navy. I'm going to send him to... Um, wherever that 
places again. Ah, you guys look pretty war. weak. War, war, we're going to war. I'm Little fighting DMs. three of the biggest nations in the in the game. I'm picking. Yeah. Uh, I'm fighting an OPM in Sicily. I'm, I'm doing that. I'm Monday doing. Day. I'm doing the Thrace War, which means I'm at, at war with Egypt and the Seleucids. Yeah, uh, I'll take some Tyrrhene. So wait, you're just basically out. I'm fighting the rest of the remnants of Alexander's empire. Yes. That's fine. Everything's all, fine. All right, vassals, go siege down enemy territory for me. Oh, there's the Thracian army. It's just coming over the borders of Odrysia. <laughs> okay. Let's put my forces near each other. I, will, I do believe we are out of time for this episode. Oh. Really? Already? Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 27 minutes. How does time fly when you're talking about nonsense? <laughs> yep. Well, anywho, thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have enjoyed the series. Uh, I'll be sure to put links to the other perspectives down in the description below so you can get a one-click link to the other uh, players' perspectives, and we will see you all next time. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.